We're on the dunes near Perranporth for the annual St Piran play which is celebrated very near to St Piran's day itself and uh, the life of St Piran started off as Ciarán from Ireland is enacted uh, how he came across the sea to Cornwall in the early Christian period and it's followed by lots of people wearing Cornish colours and Cornish flags. So let's watch the play and talk to some of the people involved. This is about the pride of the Cornish people in their heritage and their language and their culture and this is the way they all come out to show it. There'll be a three-act play. We start with the daffodils. I see we've got a daffodil man here. Last year a mystery man came, distributed daffodils and went without our thanks. I'm grateful to see him back. We walk to the big concrete cross and the play begins there and moves to the Queen of Ireland. We have a queen this year and she's very vicious and she will be throwing St Piran off the cliff. We then, all the crowd will move down to the oratory where St Piran and his little animals will be lighting the fire and there'll be a big explosion and all the silver will come out of the rock. We then move on to the old church and the granite cross where the last stack takes place. Okay, so this has been going for many years. Just tell me about how this all started. Well, it started, I think, in about 1990 with her, Howard Kerno organising school children to come up here. But because we had it on March the 5th, we didn't get the crowds we wanted. So we decided the Sunday closest we would have. And look at the amount of people here. They amount to hundreds, which gives them the chance to express their feelings. And it's become a huge core event of the St Pirantide celebrations, hasn't it? Very much so, and that is because his monuments are here, right here. And that is what people are coming to. They're pilgrims, they're modern day pilgrims. Where can you go better than the monuments of St Piran? We feel that the place should be held where he began it all. This is where it all began for Cornwall. We had that vicious King of Ireland throwing him off the cliffs on a millstone and miraculously he floated here and landed on Perranporth Beach and came up and decided he must get the Cornish peasants tamed a bit because they were rather wild and he built his little oratory and converted the peasants and of course it went on from there. <laughs> So Loveday Jenkin, you're from the Cornish Language Partnership and the Cornish Language Fellowship. Just tell me how important St Piran's Tide or St Piran's Day or this event is in celebrating not just the language but the whole culture. Well, Gaul Perrin Lowen, first of all, St Piran's Tide is really important because it's an opportunity for us to celebrate being Cornish in whatever shape or form that takes, including speaking the language and using the language in everyday life, which is what the Cornish Language Fellowship it's promoting. Now we've got a lot of families and children here. Are we finding them taking part in learning bits of the language? Yes, there's at least um, three or four young children from the um, Cornish language nursery here uh, that I've seen already so far. And parents are teaching children little bits of language, even if uh, they don't know the, the whole language. And also there's a lot more opportunity in schools to learn the language as well. Okay, so with this uh, celebration of St Piran, let's get you teaching us one or two good phrases to use. Well, Gaul Perrin Lowen is obviously the most important one. That's Happy St Piran Tide. And uh, then, of course, every time you meet someone, you can say, Dith da, hello, or good day. And when you leave someone, you can say, Du genis, goodbye. And we could also say, As you yain ha gwinzek heth you. We certainly could. As you yain ha gwinzek and gewa. Which is? Nins you glib. Can you translate it's, that for the video? Um, cold and windy today. Mes nins you glib, but it's not wet. Dick Cole, leader of Mebion Kerno. Obviously, you're in, very interested in getting Cornish culture promoted, well, possibly for a political agenda. Is that right? 
well, Cornish culture should be promoted full stop, whether it's political or not. We should have more Cornish studies in school, more language, and we should allow the young people coming through to actually have a full and vibrant understanding of their wonderful and robust heritage. Now, you're a councillor on Cornwall Council. How welcoming is Cornwall Council of this sort of cultural event? I think they're increasingly welcoming of it. Certainly from the Mebby and Kurnow group, we'll push as strong as we can to support all manners and all forms of Cornish identity and culture. So things like this should be promoted as much as possible. But I would certainly like the people in charge of the council to understand that promotion goes into such things as actually finding money to support such things. That is the thing, isn't it, these days? There's a lack of money for everything, so surely uh, you'll, culture you'll, you'll, will... You'll find now in the modern world there is a lack of money for the things they don't want to spend money on, but they'll always find money for the things they do want to spend money on. It's just unfortunately I tend to support things that are in the camp where the people with money wish not to spend money. But we'll change that, you wait and see. Thank you very much, Dick Cole. Hi, Andrew Morris from the uh, Celtic Link. All oh, right, OK. So uh, you obviously, with the Celtic Link, which is a big sort of magazine and website programme, yeah. you're involved in uh, encouraging Celtic culture in Cornwall. I mean, how important is an event like this? It's, it's massively important, to be honest. And it's great to see so many people here and so many young people. So. You know, it's an important time for looking at your culture and your heritage, so it's, it's good stuff. And how can we make use of this sort of event online, as you are doing? I think as long as it's publicised and people like yourselves are here to, to make a video record of it and show other people what it's all about, that's a good thing, you know, this is a great social community event, so... And there's lots of music as well happening over the Pyrantide Festival uh, celebrations. Yep. And does that play a big part in what you do? Yeah, music's very important, you know, it gets people from all walks of life involved. So it's, uh, it's a good way to, to get people into their heritage that they might not usually try. So events that are sociable are really good. OK, plug your website, quick. www.thecelticlink.com. Come and have a look. Denzel Monk, film producer, and you've inspired lots of cultural events in Cornwall. Just tell me about what sorts of things such an event can generate in the way of culture. Well, uh, interesting project which we do with Will Coleman. Uh, last summer, we started off at St Piran's Day here last summer, filming and telling a story about the birth of Cornwall and the sort of the, the birth of the Cornish people, a, a myth mythological tale. And we've followed that story around all the festivals, well, 10, 12 festivals throughout the summer in Cornwall and that film hopefully will be on online on Visit Cornwall and on Facebook and places in the next few weeks so that's that's one example of the kind of things which which um, which events like this inspire and I think it's something which, which shows a bit of a bit of something which is common to all all Cornish folk and a lot of folk all around the world which is coming in together to celebrate the place that we come from our history our mythology our folklore and just come out and have a have a, a good time together telling stories uh, a Tom O'Connor Jenkin, a uh, Kernoweger, uh, a Vinter Lavelle Nepithin Kernoweg Ragani. Uh, pith, pith of a bunch a of Vinter Lavelle. Uh, 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 well, uh, Gower, well, uh, go, you splan have you, a whole of splanner, and uh, uh, and you Tam Yain, there's uh, this plan, yeah. Okay, so just tell me uh, why you take part in this event. Uh, well, um, and Keskar, you put that in, in Sosnek, or in <laughs> Oh well, in Sosnek, in English, um, we take part in this event because it's a bit of our special Cornish celebration every year. We, the children, love to take, come and uh, be part of it, and uh, it's part of our heritage. We've come every year that there's been one pretty much, and we'll be coming every year in the future as well because it's you know something we do every year, and uh, you know, it's a bit of a celebration of St Piran bit of a celebration of the National Saint of Cornwall. What could be better on a lovely March day like this? Colin Treven and Jenkin, Mirastagi. Mirastagi.